Are you struggling to get evidence for certain disabilities or to prove certain disabilities, such as sleep apnea, insomnia, hypertension, or you know migraines? Welcome to Battle Buddy Ben, and in this episode, we're going to go over a couple of ways that you can create evidence on your own outside of your medical records to prove that you have certain disabilities. Let's get started. So which disabilities can you do this with or can I do this with? So like mentioned before, migraines, hypertension, GERD or IBS, you know, one of the two that kind of both in the gastrointestinal system, chronic sinusitis or rhinitis, sleep apnea, insomnia. These are just examples. You can do this with a lot of other ones, but these are the ones that are more commonly you know, claimed for by veterans. If you're finding this information useful and helpful, hit the like and subscribe buttons below this video to let other veterans and friends and family of veterans to find this video and get their questions and concerns about this topic answered. Also check out more content like this here on the Battle Buddy Ben YouTube channel. Then check out my website. It is BattleBuddyBen.com. I have a lot of great links, templates, and information about the VA disability claims process on there. There are really two ways to create evidence for yourself. To, to prove that you have certain disabilities. I've used them both. First of them is an app on your phone. So there are stuff like migraine buddy apps, insomnia ones, stuff to record, you know, sleep apnea, sleep patterns. There are, there's a ton of apps out there that can do this. Even health apps, just like Apple. Like I have an iPhone. You go into health and you go, what is my sinus you know, do you have sinus rhythm for your, to prove potentially you have AFib? And there, there are ways to do this. So heart rate monitoring, weight monitoring, all sorts of stuff to prove that you have, you know, a certain disability. So you can use this evidence. You can export it and, or take screenshots to show the doctor that can then use it or the VA radio to show that you have these. So I, I have used the migraine app. I get headaches all the time, more than once a week. And I've used that app to prove that I have headaches and it belongs at this rating level. You can also keep a log on your computer. So your computer also can do this. You can use Excel. I've done that. I've kept a log in Excel for hypertension. Take my blood pressure using a machine like, like this and that the VA is willing to give you for free to, in taking that daily, if not weekly, because the requirement is two readings each day for three different days. So you can do three consecutive days. You can take one day a, a week. I, I highly recommend you space it out a little bit more to show that it is not just this one time in this one week that it's you have it for, you know, it's not, it's chronic versus acute. So you can use your computer to do that. You can use your computer to take a log of each time that you had insomnia or that you had a panic attack or that you couldn't do something because of a mental disorder. You know, you can also do it for, you know, blood, like I said, show blood pressure, hypertension, or, you know, your heart rate, your sinus rhythm, what, whatever you can, you need to do. So apps in your computer are two ways that you can create evidence for yourself that you can submit to the VA that is outside your service treatment records, outside your normal private medical records that the, the VA does accept. And it's because it is a program and you're, you're using this and you can discuss this with your, your doctor, you can have that evidence, this other evidence, and it should match up to what your doctor is saying. And so now you have both and to strengthen your case. But what do you need? So on top of all this evidence, you need that current diagnosis. You need that diagnosis of having insomnia, sleep apnea, hypertension, whatever the case is. That description of in-service occurrence, if you're trying to ser direct service connect it, a lot of the times this, this evidence is being used for secondary claims, which you know you can put secondary claims on top of secondary claims as well. And you, you need that direct link to that service-connected disability. So if you have multiple secondary ones, it can go, you can draw that line to that service-connected disability that caused it, so for that causation. And then your, your medical nexus. So again, how is this connected to my time in service? 
your statements in support of claim. So you want to give that for each of the disabilities that you're having on the claim. So not just one statement for all your disabilities on the claim. You want individual statements per disability. That is a highly recommended way to do it because that parses out the symptoms to each disability, tells the VA how your symptoms are impacting your ability to have gainful employment and a normal social life. If you have any comments or questions about this topic, please place them in the comment section or send me an email at contact at battlebuddyben.com. If you like what you viewed, hit that like and subscribe button to let others know about this video and the YouTube channel where you'll find videos just like this and much more about the VA disability claims process. Also check out my website. I have a lot of great links, templates, and information about the VA disability claims process on it. The website is battlebuddyben.com. It is also on the screen. Keep working hard and good luck with your claims.